Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a game in Game Maker. And uh, I haven't done one of these tutorials in a while. I've actually never used, I haven't used Game Maker in a while. Uh, so I'm actually doing this tutorial under request of someone. So today we're actually going to go over zombie spawners. And I actually did a recording on this. I'm actually just going to keep the sprite here. So all I did was make a red box, uh, 32 by 32, centered it, named it Sprite Zombies. Uh, underscore spawner. So what I'm going to do is kind of create a new object and I'm going to name this object zombie spawner. So zombie spawner. Okay. So okay, there we go. Zombie spawner. Okay. So I've actually gone ahead and uh, I accidentally lost the file that uh, this whole project was stored on so I actually had to watch through my tutorials and make this again so I went ahead and did that so moving on um, just gonna create oh man I haven't used this in a while sorry gonna put a create event put the uh, some code in let's declare some variables okay so we want to make a zombie timer so I'm gonna uh, just put zombie time equals zero zombie max time equals let's let's have it go for every three seconds it's going to spawn a zombie how, how about that uh, and we can make it uh, spawn at a random increments but we'll just keep it simple for now so uh, zombies let's make another variable called zombies spawned zombies spawned equals let's say yeah well, obviously zero so I'm gonna make another uh, event make a step event put a control code in here and right here all we're gonna do is uh, increment the zombie timer so zombie underscore time is plus equal one so that'll just increment the timer every frame. So I'm going to create an if statement asking is the zombie timer complete. So if zombie time is greater than zombie max time. So this is basically just saying is the timer done. So this is going to keep incrementing just like our last timers and when it reaches that certain value I'm going to reset the timer to zero time equals to zero and then I'm going to spawn a zombie spawn zombie and then of course uh, zombies spawned it's plus equal one so we spawn another zombie so right here right here we're gonna spawn our actual zombie so to do this it's pretty simple uh, just instance create this will just create an object if you didn't know that already you probably did but uh, I'm just gonna tell you it anyways so just set it to the zombie spawners position and I'm just going to what's the uh, our enemy name okay object enemy okay there we go so that will just basically create our enemy actually let's let's assign that to a variable just just for the heck of it just in case we want to change any properties or anything like that so you might be wondering why I'm putting a sprite on the zombie spawner because later we this zombie spawner will be invisible and we won't be able to see it. Uh, sorry, wait just a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so the final product you won't be able to see the zombie spawner, but just to test it, we are going to just uh, have it visible. So I'm going to open my room here and put the zombie spawner in a random place. Okay, so. What should should happen is oops okay let's actually go here. What should happen is that uh, the zombie spawner every three seconds it should spawn a zombie. There we go, and it's actually not pointing towards us and just following us. Uh, so yeah, so that's the zombie spawner. Uh, just gonna change a few things like. Our enemy, if he's not pointing towards your player already, just make him point towards your player by just putting, uh, just doing this. Uh, just put image angle 
equals point direction x y object and I think you already have this in your the code but I don't think I have this in my file because uh, my project accidentally got deleted so I'm just gonna add that there okay okay so right now the enemies can't actually damage the player uh, and that's a problem you know there's not really any danger of the enemies so I'm actually going to go into my man class oh we already have uh, HP okay so uh, I'm gonna sorry I'm going to create a damage timer so first I'm going to create a damage variable so damage damage equals uh, the three or something like that okay so now damage to set uh, damage uh, let's see we have to create timer so damage time equals zero then damage max time with how much time the timer is going to take uh, to to uh, uh, set off so actually let's let the zombie damage him every second so the game's running at 30 frames per second so it'll be 30 or you could do this uh, one times room time or room speed I forgot yeah room speed so this is 30 frames per second times one so it's just gonna go 30 so if you want if you wanted to uh, activate three sec for three seconds you just change that to three or something so now moving on running of time so okay I think that's all we need so let's go to our step method and let's go here uh, actually let's let's make it neater so I'm just gonna say follow player and this is this the die okay so let's put it in between those two parts and this is going to be the damage player part so I'm just going to increment it so the damage timer so damage time is plus equal one and if damage time is greater than damage uh, max time I think that's what I called it so once the timer sets off so this is going to happen every one second so we're going to set reset the damage timer so damage time equals zero and then what else do we want to do well we want to see if the if uh, the players close so actually you know what let's put this around another is statement okay actually I'm just gonna put an and here so and or is it two ands I forget so if the damage if the timer is finished and if you're close enough to the player so actually you know, let's let's go ahead and make another variable, and we'll call this a uh, reach. So this is basically the be the arm length of the zombie, and since the sprite length is 32, uh, the radius is 16. So I'll just put uh, 16, actually just 18. So uh, his reach will just be a little bit more than the sprite. So so if the point distance, actually, you know, let's set a variable for the point distance too. So I'm just going to say make a new variable called uh, you know, distance from player and say this just call it distance equals point distance x y object man object oh object man dot x object man dot y it looks like we're running out of time so might have to end this short but okay let's do this so if the distance and if the distance is smaller than reach and then we're gonna go ahead and damage the player here okay so we'll actually just go object player uh, no, object man. 
uh, HP is minus equal to damage. Okay, and then let's go ahead and in our man class, oops, in our man class, let's go ahead and on the bottom here, just gonna call this uh, die, and we're just gonna say okay. Actually, you know, can we create functions? Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, no, we can't. Uh, but, okay, this, this isn't C sharp. Okay. Uh, okay, so on the die method, so if HP is smaller or equal to zero, then he's gonna die. Uh, and the way this is gonna happen is we're just gonna say room one room dot. I forgot what it is. Okay, I figured it out. It's called room restart. Okay, that's a function we need to restart the room. Okay. So, I'm just going to play this. And what should happen is if we stay around the zombies too long, we are going to eventually die. And so, I'm just going to stay around the spawner, shoot random bullets. Okay. So, uh, we actually can't see our health right now, so hopefully he'll just die. No, I should have started this in a different mode. Okay, as you can see, look, I stayed there too long, and so the room restarted. So that's exactly what we want. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, a rating is always appreci appreciated. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.